Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Today, I'm gonna try to fix my battery charger, my booster and jump starter. My tractor takes 100 million amps to start because the starter's going bad in it. And I let someone borrow this and he left it out in the rain the other day. Now it still turns on and puts out 12 volts, but there's nowhere near the amps coming out of this. When you hook it up, you know, there's just a little faint little sparks when it used to be like big sparks and it's not helping my tractor any. So what we're gonna do, I've never had one of these apart before, but I know the basic, what we're gonna see in there. So we'll see if we can find anything that jumps out at us. Because of course, I have a lathe I'm getting rid of today and I need the tractor to lift the lathe <laughs> the guy's truck. So, I'll get you set up, I'll go grab some tools, and let's see what we find. Okay, I saved you from having me watch me take all the fasteners out of it. This should lift off now. I have a feeling it's probably going to be a quick video. Jumps out at me. Maybe you guys in here a bit. See, there's really not much to the thing. A transformer, basically. I believe down here is the fan. I don't see any burn marks or anything down in there. Like I said, it was still putting out 12 volts. So power comes into here. No, it comes in here. Goes to the timer. Like this was working fine. Goes out of the timer, goes down to the big thing. Maybe, maybe this guy that's messed up. The uh, amp selector. Let me take you off here for a second. <clears throat> Sorry about the glare there. I don't see anything that looks roasty toasty. Looks like there was a wire there, but I don't see a wire missing anywhere. I wonder if it was just this. No, oh, it wasn't just that. Okay, let me go get my gauge. And see if I can find anything. I'll bring you back. Okay. Well, I don't know what I did. I did take all the contacts off down there and cleaned them. And those ones. And these ones. You can't remove those ones. This gauge wasn't working before and now it's working. The volts are moving before, no matter where it was, it was bouncing, it bounced wildly. Now it holds nice and steady. So I think I randomly fixed it. I, uh, let me unplug it here. I'm gonna turn it off first. I, uh, first thought it might be this guy. 
but there's no resistance through it. And I'm going to clean this out. And then, you know, there's a bridge rectifier in there because it has to convert the AC to DC. There's no weird resistances and everything. So basically, I just pulled it apart and cleaned it. And uh, problem solved, I guess. <laughs> okay, so it's a little late now. So I'm going to go tomorrow and get this guy hooked up on the tractor. So we get that lathe moved. In the meantime, yeah. Stuff's gonna fall. But I'll show you guys tomorrow. But my van is squatting. <laughs> Got so much stuff yard selling today. So okay, that's it to uh I'd like to say I found something wrong with it and I fixed it and showed it how to fix it, but I didn't. I just cleaned everything. So yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.